How are you feeling after the game? Uh, one nothing loss, but a strong defensive battle. Yeah. Um. So we came out like really strong, and like we were going into this game like super pumped. Um. Although we did fall one zero. Um. I think we fought till the end. Um. We gave it all our, our all, and I mean, that's all you can do is like put your heart out on the field, and even if it does come down to a loss, like you know that you put your heart out there. What's the stress that's on you when they're in that attacking third so much as a defender? Um, well, it's kind of just like all in my head, honestly. Like, I just want to be able to protect that back line and like be that, being that one, like that first um, entry of uh, defense. Um, it is stressful, but you kind of just have to like be confident in yourself and like know that your players have your back and like knowing that you have a strong defensive line and they, that you have they have your back. Even if even if you do make a mistake, like they'll be there for you. Does that go into like some of your aggressive play? You make a lot of tackles. Yeah, um, I mean that's just how I play. Um, I like to kind of shake the forwards up a little bit. Um, even if like I can take that chance, like I know again that they'll be behind me and supporting me along the way. What uh, when you're in the back line, but you're also able to go forward and and help out on the offensive side of things at the front line when you're making runs up the wing. Mm -hmm. uh, What's sort of the capability that goes into being able to do that, and what does that provide uh, as tactics perspective? I mean, it does put us numbers up, and like being able to like expose that width that they um, so give us, um, just like going down that line and exposing what they can't defend, um, it gives us a lot of numbers and like a lot of like more options. So like I could play it across and like give a good service so that the forwards can run onto it and eventually get a goal off it. What do you feel like are the traits that make you an asset to be that person who's running up the wing and helping out on the offensive side of things too? I mean, for me, um, I think that, you know, I just, I don't think at all. I just go and like, if I can help my team, like be the best that they can, like I'm going to put my all into it. And at the end of the day, it's all for them. It's not for me. Um, I have to think of the team and it's all about the team. It's never about myself. We've seen... We haven't seen that as much this season. Was that an adjustment that, that Graham make, made to uh, have you from the back line running up more and helping out? Yeah, I think that we made that adjustment just to give us more coverage, but to also give us more options, like I said, like um, more in the attack and be more dangerous up there and, again, expose everybody's weakness on that wide side and like create 1v1s or 2v1s around, along that side and eventually put dangerous balls in the box for goals. What's your mindset in pack play? It's been four consecutive ranked teams about to be five consecutive ranked teams at Pape you had a road trip in between what's your mindset as a freshman going through this slate you know I mean it's amazing it's an amazing experience getting to like get all the knowledge you can from your upperclassmen and like being able to play alongside the experience that they have and like you know I, I'm doing it for them at the end of the day like all of it it's it's for them because like some of them it is their last year um, it's exciting and I just want to be able to get those wins and like push them and also push myself and you know it's just an amazing experience it's like nothing that I've dreamed of before. Do you have those four runs planned out or do you kind of just go with the feel of the game? I kind of just go with it honestly <laughs> yeah I mean sometimes like me and Zoe have like recently like you know kind of been working on that line and like working on the connection that we have just knowing that I'm going to get up there or knowing that she's going to be inside you know it's not planned at all it's just you know that like you have that chemistry with your team. Did you know that they were going to come and attack the wings a lot hard coming to play against Stanford? Um, I think they did. Um, I think that they like to go 1v1. They like to um, kind of get down that line and beat us end line. So going into the game, I kind of knew that that's what was going to happen, that I had to put my head in the game and know the game plan and know what they're going to do.